I think it's safe to say this entire season has been a whirlwind, whirlwind rather, for a new permanent head coach, Jake Dickard for WSU. Dickard went from defensive coordinator to interim head coach and then earned that title with a five-year contract. So we know a lot about the coach, but not as much about him as just a person and who he is. So our Travis Green sat down with him to get to know the man behind the team. How did you get so into football in the first place? Well, I think it started off, I mean, it's just a little bit in my, my blood. Like, we were raised in a, in a sports family, and my dad actually had the opportunity to coach us when we were little all the way up. But we were young, when we were young, we played everything, football, basketball. My dad's passion was always baseball, and that's what he always wanted us to do. Uh, but I just grew up around all the games, and just in those small-town communities like in Wisconsin, that's, that's what you did. And I love competing, so it's just a natural fit for me. Right. How did you levitate towards football, though, out of all the options? Well, it just was kind of, I was a big basketball player, right? And that was like my passion. And then I was this tall ever since I was in sixth grade. So I just kind of leveled out, right? And athleticism and everything kind of faded, and then I found, you know, my passion for football. And then just moving around, like I moved six times as a kid. And then I moved uh, my senior season, my dad got a new job. And uh, just kind of got lost back in those days, the recruiting was different. You know, so I moved to a really, really small town. Our graduating class was 27 kids, nine senior boys. So it just ended up where one school, UW Stevens Point, uh, just kind of found me and they wanted me to join the football team. And I was like, let's do it. So that's kind of how I gravitated towards football. Football kind of chose me. So you say you moved around a lot, is that because yeah. your dad's job? Yeah, he was in education, you know, so he was a teacher. And then like by the time I was kindergarten age, he was the principal of the school, right? So that's like torture, right? And then when I was in high school, he was the superintendent. So try to get away with anything, right, in school was always hard. The best part of it all is my brother blazed the trail, right? So he, he made it really easy for me. Oh, you knew what you could and couldn't oh, do. Oh, there's no question. Like, he made it easy for me. I was like, man, I just learned, okay, I don't want to do that. All right, he got in trouble for that. So. Went to Wisconsin Stevens Point yeah. as a wide receiver. Mm -hmm. I, I saw you uh, had two great seasons, your final seasons, right? I did. Uh, team I, voted on you captain, I believe. I was. Well, the funny thing is I went in as a quarterback. You know, really? so he, even to this day, like when I'm throwing to the linebackers, like I tell them, hey, I was a quarterback, right? <laughs> and uh, I always say I was so good that I moved to wide receiver. Um, I got beat out and I was like, coach, I know I can play. Like I want to go play wide receiver. And I was just such a competitor that it just, it was a natural fit. Um, now, I was one of those receivers that if I got caught a six yard pass, I just leaned forward to get seven. I wasn't taking it to the house by any means. I was a possession receiver at 5'10", which those aren't in high demand at all. Uh, the big question that I have, when I look over all that, yeah. how does a, a solid college wide receiver wind up coaching defense? I asked my uh, college coach, John Mish, all right, if, if I could do the graduate assistant because I had an opening. And he, he's thought about it and he was like, okay, but I want you to start off on defense because my brother uh, was an offensive lineman. And he's like, well, I don't want you coaching on the same side as your brother, right? So I don't want you two going at it. Like, go learn defense. And then when he graduates, we'll always get you back to offense. And then as I just started going down this path, uh, I just ended up having a passion for it. And it fit my personality, you know, being a little more aggressive, a little more fiery. It was just a really, really good fit. And now I can't even imagine, you know, coaching offense. I think they're a bunch of cheaters. You know, all, all, all the, uh, you know, all the rules are, are, are meant for them. And, uh, you know, so that's kind of how it all really started. And when you get down this journey, it's, it's been really, really exciting for me. You know, when it comes to coaching, some, not everybody's going to be a star on the team, yeah. obviously. Yeah. And you came from a uh, background of playing small college yeah. football. How much does that help you talking to any guys on your roster? When I hear any type of complaints, I'm like, guys, I sold raffle tickets to get into fall camp, right? We had to sell raffle tickets to get a shorts and t-shirt just to like play. Like, so it's given me an appreciation for everything that we have. And just having the ability to coach at every level, I think is really unique and it's a unique experience. Yes.